he started early, like many others of his age, his age group at the time. Just to remember one who I think he did a bit of things together, Vijay Mwanga, and him started early as the youth in the struggle for independence. And then went on to do so many other things for the country, for us all. Beyond after liberation, they occupied key positions uh, during the infancy in the building construction of our nation. So we thank them, thank him for that. Obviously, as you know, fairly early on, he was Minister of Finance and then returned later on to be Minister of Finance again. And so we thank him and his colleagues, many of whom are gone. Um, for what they did that benefits all of us to have a, an independent Zambia and obviously the advancements that they made as you know after independence infrastructure in many areas they were responsible for that construction health, education and everything else including the policies that saw some of us go to school to university free of charge. It is them who designed those policies. So we thank him for that. And I know the loss is beyond the family, immediate family, extended family. All of us are in mourning. And I want to ask Zambians, as always, to mourn ABC you know, peacefully, uh, aggressively, respectful. And for me, most Zambians are unaware that I have a long relationship with him. At one point, we served together on the Barclays board, found him there, it was with, a, again, a colleague of his, friend of his, Bruce Munyama. I joined him on that board, and later on, I became the chairman. I still served with him. And um, he had that commercial, economic side, which was extremely good. But he had also a social side. Remember when my wife gave birth to our last born son. She was in the queue then at Minibank, a place called Minibank, a clinic, and ABC walks in there, finds uh, my wife holding a baby. He didn't figure out that that was my wife. So I said, ah, whose child is this one? So <laughs> my wife answered and said, HH's child. Said, oh, HH's child. He just picked the child and, you know, held him in his arms went into his pocket, gave him some money. So most people are unaware of that relationship I've had, many of us have had with ABC. But he was a man of many talents, different things. So remember, uh, his good works live on. The best way of remembering ABC is to advance the interests of the nation, because these were nationalists. So that's my advice to young people. Let's work together, let's take this country where it should be as those who came before us, ABC being one of them, did. It's our duty to carry on. We would have wished that he would have been alive, but God gives, God takes. We only respect God's decision. Thank you. Anything else? Any question? Thank you very much. Um, politicians, what lessons do they need to draw from uh, the life that uh, our former finance minister lived? Public service is not for self, it's for the people, number one. Number two, we must give in our best, anytime, all the time, that we are asked to serve the public. Because we do so by choice. When we do it by choice, we must do it with conviction that we must offer our very best. Number three, to be resilient. We were chatting with my colleague, my friend here, you know, Bwari Angandu, that PBC had a long life, long career, resilience, on and off, but staying the course. So, there are many things that could say about this trip, but that's what I think young people must learn. Because in the resilience sits patience, sits patience and focus. Thank you. Thank you.